The Hundred Years' War, 1337 to 1453. The Hundred Years' War was a series of short, costly wars in which the English kings tried to dominate France, but met great resistance. In 1328, Charles IV of France died. The French barons gave his throne to his cousin, Philip VI, but Charles's nephew, Edward III of England, challenged him. Philip confiscated Edward's French lands, and in 1337, war broke out. At the start of the conflict, which actually lasted 116 years, the English defeated a French fleet in the English Channel at Sluys and invaded France, winning a major battle at Crecy and capturing Calais. Both sides ran out of money and had to agree to a truce, which lasted from 1347 until 1355. In 1355, a fresh English invasion took place led by Edward's heir, Edward, whose nickname was the Black Prince. He won a resounding victory at Poitiers, and the Treaty of Bétigny in 1360 gave England large parts of France. But a new campaign followed, and English lost most of its French possessions. In, 13, in the late 1360s, both thrones were inherited by children, Charles VI of France and Richard II of England. Richard's uncle, John of Gaunt, or Ghent in Belgium, his birthplace, ruled for him. In 1396, Richard II married Charles VI's daughter, Isabel, and a 20-year truce was agreed. The End of a Costly War After a long truce, the war began again in 1415. Henry V, England's adventurous king, revived his country's claim to the French throne. England still held Calais and parts of Bordeaux. Henry captured Harfleur in Normandy and heavily defeated the French at Agincourt. Henry then occupied much of northern France. Charles VI made him heir to the French throne in 1420. He also married Charles's daughter, Catherine of Valois. Henry died just 15 months later, leaving the throne to his infant son, Henry VI. Charles VI died soon after. In support of the claim, Henry's uncle, John, Duke of Bedford, besieged Orléans, and French forces led by 17-year-old present girl Jeanne d'Arc uh, successfully defended the town. Uh, Jean uh, claimed that she saw visions of and heard voices telling her to free France. She escorted the new but uncrowned king, Charles VII, to Reims to be crowned. However, Joan was soon defeated at Paris and captured by the Burgundians. They, told, they sold her to the English, who burned her as a witch. Sporadic fighting went on for some years afterwards. The French recaptured their lands by 1453, ending the war. Only Calais remained English. This had been a king's war, but it was the people who had paid the price.